It's enough now, Laura. This basket's full. Oh, sure, let's go. Why don't you come with us, Mingle? We're going to send up balloons in the park. I'll come over there as soon as I find one. Ready? And we've got air for the balloon. What are you going to do with the seeds? First, we put just a few of them in a balloon, like this. Then some helium. Then I just tie the end of it. We have good eucalyptus seeds in our village, and this is a way to spread them everywhere. Then, when the balloon bursts, the seeds fall to the ground and start to grow. And soon there'll be big, strong eucalyptus trees all over the world. Won't that be nice? <laughs> Anybody seen weather? I thought you were always together, Mingle. You went away. But you promised we could go out and look at the stars with his telescope tonight. Oh, he'll come back before long. Maybe he just wanted to be by himself for a change. He doesn't want me with him? It's not like that. He just wants to be alone sometimes. Hey, we're sending up balloons. Why don't you come and help us with them, Mingle? It'll be fun. No, thanks. Oh. Hey, what's up, Mingle? Hi, Walter. Have you seen weather anywhere? That's a funny question coming from you, Mingle. You always stick to weather like glue. Did you have a fight? No, but I don't know why he went away. He just wanted to get away from you. He's set up having you clinging to him. Oh, that's a little You're a nuisance. You never let Weather be by himself. You're nothing but a nuisance. I am not a nuisance. Anyone that clings the way you do is a nuisance. Mingle, Mingle is, a nuisance. is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. And you three guys are nuisances too. Just look at the way you blow and stick together. I'm a what? Stop that. Stop teasing Mingle. You never can do anything on your own without weather, can you? <laughs> Mingle is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Now stop it, Walter. A nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Come on down, Mingle. Don't you pay any attention to those silly boys, Mingle. They've gone now. Mingle is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Mingle is a nuisance. Weather. Yes, all the time. I'd like to teach you that. No. 
All of you children have mothers and fathers you depend on, but mingled all alone, and so am I. So naturally, we depend on each other. You see, Mingle and I are friends, and friends are never a nuisance to each other. So please, be kind to him. Mm. We mustn't waste any more time. We've got to find him and bring him back. There goes Papa's helicopter. He's on his way home from work. Which way the balloons went? Did you see any balloons from the helicopter? No, but I heard you were sending up balloons with seeds in them. I saw them, but you shouldn't be sending them up in bunches like that. Each balloon should be going up separately, you know. It's that bunch we're looking for. They're carrying Mingle away in a basket. But why is he leaving? Well, when I saw that bunch, it was drifting over that way towards Mount Bread Knight. I sure hope Mingo is going to be all right. We've got to find him soon. I'm worried. I see balloons over there. They're caught in the tree. I think the helicopter has found the balloons. Let's go over that way. Miss Lewis, any sign of Mingo? I don't see him anywhere. Oh. Ah. Wait! Mingo! Mingo? He's not in the basket. Gee, I wonder where he went. Mingo! Mingo could fly out of there easily. He must be right around here somewhere. Let's have a look. I wonder where he could have gone. Mingo! 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 Yes, but we're here! That's funny. I could have sworn I heard Mingo answer us. Oh, yes, I'm sure I heard his voice. I did, too. Then I didn't just imagine it, but where is he? Mingo! Yes! His voice sounds as if he's right here with us. Where are you? Right beside you! Right beside us? Mingo. I heard his voice just now. I can't hear anything but the helicopter noise. Oh, that's where he is. Ha, 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 ha. 